good morning thanks for joining me again and I'm still in Great Langdale and the uh, weather's picked up nicely again after a pretty uh, grim and snowy day yesterday and today um, heading up into the Langdale Pikes um, going up from Stickle Barn via Loft Crag uh, up to Pike of Stickle uh, back across Harrison Stickle Pavey Ark and down via Stickle Tarn uh, had a different walk planned today up to Side Pike and uh, and across to Lingmore Fell but Maria doesn't fancy walking today she needs a, a day off walking to let her legs recover from the tra travails of the last couple of days so uh, I'm on my own so I thought I'd do something a bit more challenging that uh, Maria didn't fancy doing so uh, off we go why not stick around and uh, see what we see along the way the views are likely to be rather good okay to uh, do this route clockwise as I am once you get through Sticklebarn car park you'll see the main route up to Stickle Tarn carrying straight on and uh, just to your left you'll see a slightly fainter uh, route climbing up uh, so follow that route up to your left and uh, that takes us up sort of along Dungeon Gill and up that way that rocky already <laughs> and just uh, 100 yards or so up there you, the uh, footpath passes through a wall and then turn right and you'll uh, see it climbing up immediately in front of you fabulous up here already see the snow on uh, just a little bit on Pike of Blisco and then I think just to the right of that will be Crinkle Crags And it's over a stile, just look to your left, drop down and cross the stream and then you'll uh, see the path carry on climbing with the stream just to your right. In that direction now behind us we're about level with uh, side pike now and you can see Lingmore and uh, Lingmore fell rising away in the distance that was the walk we were supposed to be doing today if Maria had uh, felt more up to it instead I'm up here looking across at it looks, uh, looks like a nice walk one for another day Right, I've just passed the cairn at, uh, it's called Mark Gate and uh, the uh, path levels out for a little while here give me a spot of relief and uh, then it uh, just starts to climb up again for the, uh, the last bit of the climb up to 
Loft Crag, which is the first peak of the day. I don't think it's actually listed as a separate Wainwright, possibly because it uh, it doesn't uh, stand on its own compared to uh, you know the surrounding hills. But uh, I'll check that when I get back. But uh, I don't think it is. It's behind me over there. Uh, Little uh, Bleece Harn has come into view as well. Looks uh, very pretty. Getting a bit more sunshine than I am at the moment as well. Quite cold up here now it's clouded over. Right, enough hanging about. <laughs> crossing the uh, bit of semi flat moorland before coming to Hart Crag and it's absolutely awesome up here up behind me there hope you can hear me with the wind you've got uh, Pike of Stickle Hart Crag in the middle and then uh, Harrison Stickle to the right I think if I'm wrong, I'll correct it on the screen. As you know, I'm uh, no expert up here in uh, Cumbria. First time I've been up here. And uh, truly amazing place it is too. at the top of Loft Crag now. I think it's about 630 metres this one and I've kind of got my bearings now. You've got Langdale Pikes, then Pike of Stickle, then we come back um, to go up Harrison Stickle, then round Pavey Ark and down. So uh, I think there's an extra Wainwright in there that I didn't uh, explain at the bottom. But anyway, we'll go up everything that's here. As long as the weather doesn't set in, I'll, uh, I'll uh, show you what it's looking like now. All right, on to Langdale Pikes. One day I'll know what I'm doing up here and where things are, but uh, I suppose the uh, the chances of seeing all of it at my age are probably not realistic. But, uh, just enjoy every one that you uh, you do get to see. Just beautiful up here. Did I mention it was a a little bit cold up here? bit of an idea. <laughs> Bitter.
Oh. Langdale Pikes. Pike of Sickle up behind me. Man, what an absolutely wonderful view. Well worth the effort. Hey. Pike of Stickle looming behind me now. Looks a bit of a lung burster, but uh, soon be up that and then heading back the other way to Harrison Stickle. See you at the top. from it. Uh, Pike of Stickle is definitely what you'd call a scramble. Well, we made it. See right over to the sea. Magnificent, eye wateringly cold. Small matter of getting down off here now. Right, just down off uh, Pike of Stickle. That was uh, fun. Just see me first people of the day. <laughs> Another uh, three hikers that were heading uh, back up the way I'd come. They're, uh, nice dog. And uh, just heading across to Stickle now. But looks like the weather's setting in a little bit. You can see it. Like uh, hailstones and snow. I don't think it's going to set in for long though, I can see it uh, breaking up over there. It'll sting a bit though. Harrison Stickle looming now. And a few more people passing now. Probably started to walk the other way round, up past Stickle Tarn. Harrison Stickle now, there's a few people around so I won't record much and uh, just need to pick a route down now to uh, Stickle Town which is down below us. Not sure which way I'm going to go yet, I'm just going to uh, have a look at the map. Right, there is a path that goes more directly down across the front of Pavey Arc but I'm going to curve right round behind Pavey Arc and then uh, take the path that cuts back down to Stickle Tarn where they're coming in again it's just to get a brief patch of sunshine and then well you can see over there some low cloud coming in so I think we're in for some slightly rougher weather That's 
past uh, Harrison Stickle where we've just been and uh, this is about the highest point of Pavey Arc now so I just need to keep heading round and then we uh, drop down to Stickle Town which is just below us there just making my way down from Pavey Arc now and uh, as you can see it's pretty loose and treacherous so uh, if you find yourself following this route take it steady and just take your time quite a bit of ice about as well so uh, you need to uh, keep your wits about you for that one so I'm going to put the camera away and just move my way down just getting down to uh, Stickle Town now you can just see the corner of it there quite an exciting de descent that was <laughs> just needed to take it steady but uh, yeah it's quite exhilarating really enjoyed that and uh, yeah, I'll just uh, go and have a look at uh, pretty little uh, Stickle Town and head back down to the uh, to the van Splendid Pavey Arc, Harrison Stickle, Stickle Town behind me, and we won't mention the so called wild camper who's got his tent set up at half past two in the afternoon on a glorious day. Always one, isn't there? These are the days folks, as somebody once said, does it get any better than this? What a place. change of conditions for the last bit, more snow Oops. all adds to the fun Right, back down on the level now and I'm just making my way back to the campsite What an absolutely stunning walk that was Well worn out though So, I uh, don't know how long the video will be because I've had uh, so many beautiful things to take footage of but uh, thanks very much if you've stuck with it this far and uh, I don't know whether I'll uh, bring you back for a cheers or not when I, I'm going to try out the uh, old Dungeon Gill a little bit uh, later but uh, there was a chance that they might not be open because of Covid but uh, we'll see but uh, either way, thanks for watching and no doubt I'll catch you very soon on another video Cheers now, goodbye oh, found Maria She's well rested after her rest day and I've got the uh, hawk's head pail. Cheers! <laughs> oh,
Yeah.